Good evening everybody. Welcome back to the channel again. Uh, I've had a few questions about screwdrivers lately so I thought we might visit that a little bit this evening. I've tried to get set up where you can see hopefully a little bit of what I show. Um, also, I need to start putting this closer to the front. If you like these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment down below if you have favorite um, screwdrivers that you use, brands you like, fit your hand. These opinions here are just mine. I didn't get any of these tools for free. These are just opinions I've developed from using these tools on a daily basis all the time. Obviously my most used items live in my Vito TP4B. These are used all the time. This goes into almost every single job, whether it's electrical or not. Something in here is needed everywhere. There's everything from, there's a video about what's in this over on this same channel, obviously. Just go over and hit that one. Vito TP4B loadout will be the name of it. But this has got my Allen wrenches and all kinds of goodies in here. So, as far as screwdrivers though, if you wanted to pull my most used, it would be these right across the back. These four, these five. And I like to keep insulated ones that I grab most of the time just because you never know. Never, sometimes you can't trust people in old houses if things are actually off when they say they are. And I like, I'd rather see the spark and then, then feel it too. But the this one is the Klein HVAC 8 and 1. I love that. It's the only nut drivers I really need on my quick pack. So it has quarter and five sixteenths in it, along with basically a lot of the things of an, a very stripped down 11 and 1. More HVAC oriented, obviously. So these are the four that I use quite often. And you can see how they're holding up. Almost nowhere on these, really. They're holding up really well. Now, to flip them over and show what they are, we have two Weras and two Weeha. Uh, the Weeha, they lose their markings pretty fast. They wear off, but I carry a number two square drive Weeha and a thin blade Weeha. And then I carry a standard number two Phillips and a five and a half millimeter flat, which I find to be the size I like the most or use the most. That's how they mark the tops of theirs. Very nice and clear, whether it's Wera or Weeha, they seem to hold up pretty well. Um, in your hand, I really like both. I was asked about this the other day, which, which one feels better in the hand? I don't know. To me, I, I, I do like them both. You have a finger. This has this type of grip, so you can see how you have kind of another spot for your fingers, if that makes any sense. They lay in there like that, your thumbs down through here, one finger's here, then your back, and this one up here. The Weeha is just a really nice, smooth rubber grip, and it, it holds very, very well. I'd almost, being where this, this front bump is, I'd almost give the edge to Weeha for the feel. It's a good feel, but the deal for me is do you see the facets on here that keep the screwdrivers from rolling when you set them down? Weeha only has two and if you miss one it, it's not I don't know if you can actually see that but if you miss one this screwdriver will just roll and it's it's very hard to explain this I assume well let me see we'll get this right here when you lay this down you have to lay it right on that little edge or this screwdriver will just roll. And if you tilt this much at all, it's gone. The problem just gets bigger with their bigger versions of their screwdrivers. They just are real easy to miss that flat point. If you generally are right back in your pouch with your drivers every time, it probably doesn't matter. But number two and thin are Weeha in my bag. I really like those two from them and I use them quite a bit obviously every every day a lot of breakers and things have a number two and a, a number two will fit almost everything in a panel a standard residential panel so that's kind of nice um, but the Weras they have what is it five they have five facets here so no matter how you set this driver down it catches really easily and if it rolls it catches itself again but those are my favorites and some of the other reasons are if you can see these tips 
I am using a better filming app tonight, but we'll see if it can actually focus. I don't know. Somewhere, anytime there. Do so you see the laser etching on these? Believe it or not, from the use I've had with these, that actually seems to help prevent cam out. They even have them slanted, so when you're driving a screw, it's pulling the bit into it in some minute way. And even the flat has slanted laser etching. So it actually seems to hold up well too. Most of the etching is still on these. So that's something to be said for that. I really like those drivers. I also carry a thermostat screwdriver from Klein uh, in that bag. And it has little tiny Phillips and flat. And then the other end is also Phillips and flat, just a tinier version on one end than the other. So nice little driver for that. Keeps you from having to carry a whole stack of them of a type that's in here. My Weha thermostat ones are right here. I have a Phillips and flat of the Weha drivers. And these are really neat because, you know, the back end cap stays still and they're clearly marked on top what they are also. Nice little drivers. Just for my TP4, this has everything in one deal, and the top also rotates on the Klein, so it's a nice compromise. I, I'm all about having as little tools as possible in that bag. Weight is a real problem with, with Vito bags, if anybody else uses these much. Um, in here, too, I have some Klein screwdrivers. Phillips, flat, and all that. They're in my regular side here. Normally, these are, if I have a helper working with me, and we're working on some electrical or something, I, I have ones I can give them extras of. That's why I carry multiples of them. I'm covered. I've got something for everybody. Some of the more unique stuff, ratcheting Wera. This is also one of my favorites, especially because you can put very quality tips in this. It accepts a regular tip. So if you wanted to use Weha Wera tips, those kind of things, or even PB Swiss, you can get some really quality tips to go in here that aren't wearing out on you all the time. And this actually has a push button in the top and a carousel of bits here, and you can put obviously whatever you'd like. And right here is the transmission. You have forward, reverse, and locked. In locked mode, it doesn't go anywhere, but you can turn it down. And it's a very quiet ratchet with nice fine teeth for a screwdriver. Really like that one. When I first started, my 11 and ones were these Linux 11 and ones I got a lot of use out of these. But the only issue with them is it's almost proprietary size everything in these. And so when, you're, when you wear out a bit, you cam out your Phillips, whatever, and it starts to get the shoulders gone here, really the whole driver is done unless you just keep it for parts for your others. But the most common worn out pieces are the main Phillips and flat, obviously. So what are you gonna do when they wear out? Not my favorite, but it's still a decent driver that you can get for $11, $12 compared to this is gonna be fairly pricey from where I'm sure. I forget what I paid for that, but they also have this version of it that is a non ratchet, but this one Oh, what's it called? The wear rapidator, rapid adapter. You can pull this little collar back and this comes out and this will snap right in your impact or your drill. And it has a grip in the end, like a slide lock. They snap right in and then it'll snap back in here. And it also has a carousel of bits for it. No ratchet, but the tip comes out on this one. So you can put anything in this that has a standard uh, impact type tip on the on the shank but the fact that you can pop this out and snap it right over into like your surge or one of those type of tools and just keep going is really cool you can just instant swap between screwdriver if you need to back and forth I don't keep the rat the non ratcheting version in my bag but it lives here in the trailer okay that is most of the main ones I use. When I get into more electrical or I'm into something where I need multiples of insulated items, the back side of my Vito here, this is the Tech MCT, the back side is all insulated everything. And this is also where all my fluke meters and things are and this bag has a load out here on the channel as well. But there are more 
uh, of these in here, and I believe these came with um, a Weeha set. No, not a Weeha set. What was it that came with? These came with a, a Knipex, Nipex set. Anyway, whichever way you want to put it, I get had no matter how I say it. So they put Max Pro drivers in their kit. I don't know why, but when you buy the sets from this company to make everyone happy and these are insulated as well insulated pliers insulated linesmen everything i like to have everything available at least and insulated in my bags but for some reason that company includes max pro drivers now maybe maybe they're made by the same place but they're nice they have a tri triangle on them so they don't roll either and they have more of a triangular grip Pretty nice, 1,000 volt insulated too, just a standard Phillips and flat, number two. And uh, I like those just fine. But everything else in here is pretty much Wera, with the exception of one or two Weehaws in here. Uh, that's the regular Weeha Phillips. And for some reason, this got kicked out for this number two, and it's mainly because the one I like to use all the time has the laser etching, and I just prefer that. So. In my opinion, right now, the best screwdrivers that I that I have, that I like the most, it's almost a tie between Weha and Weha, but it depends on the specific one. I do give the edge to Weha for the grip, but the edge for performance has to go to Weha for the laser etching on their insulated screwdrivers. They've held up well. They don't have any wear on them, unlike the screwdrivers I used in the beginning. Uh, the Cobalts and the brands like that from Lowe's uh, store brands and whatnot. I just, I broke a lot of tips because, you know, what else is a flathead screwdriver good for? It's pry bar too. So what are you going to do? But this is kind of what I've come down to after all this time. These are the drivers that I'm not being able to kill. So I'm going to stick with them and I'll just replace these when they go. Uh, what drivers do you have in your bag and what do you prefer and why? Um, I know I had some questions about the grips between the Weehaws and the Weras, and hopefully that helped answer it a little bit, and you could see it up close a little better and how it fits a hand. Uh, I love them. I have a lot of all their little unique stuff. Those are little Wera, Wera thermostat drivers. I've got Wera thermostat drivers, Weeha, all kinds of them. I, I love tools, so... I've played with a lot of these, and these are where it's come down to for me. If you get Weeha or Wera screwdrivers and you get their nicer versions, you, you really won't go wrong. They're they're awesome. If you prefer ratcheting screwdrivers, the Wera ratcheting driver is really good. And, of course, you can just take the bits out of the carousel and load it up with ones you want. And if you have a um, the little Wera compact set, you can go back and forth with bits from that and, and have a nice little setup there, too. But anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and hopefully we'll catch you on another one. We'll be working on our business shoot for Monday, and hopefully have one of those up then. And until then, thank y'all for being here, and catch you on the next one. See ya.